Hi, today we're using beautiful pastel colours to paint this dramatic but very simple and easy sunset. First I used masking tape on the horizon line just to make it a little easier and then I started by adding a little bit of white to the canvas. I'm working around that in a circle with my light pink. You can use a mop brush or any fluffy brush to gently blend those two colours together. Then I'm coming around the outside with my rose pink and I'm also softening and blending those colours together too. Now we can add our brilliant purple on either side, gently blending as we go. And finally, we'll add our ultramarine in the top two corners and sweep it inwards with our mop brush and soften and blend it all together. Once that's dry, I'm coming in with a medium filbert brush and my ultramarine again and just using a circular motion and the shape of the brush to gently build up the shapes of the cloud. If you don't want the edges of the clouds to be too harsh, you can soften them a little bit with a lighter pink. I've removed the masking tape and I'm going to block off the field for my hay bales. I've mixed yellow ochre, a little bit of rose pink, some ultramarine and a tiny amount of black to get a dark yellow ochre colour. As I'm blocking this out, I'm using diagonal lines and using the point in the distance as a vanishing point. So it's going to come out in all angles with that point at the very end. I'm doing the same thing with my filbert brush and a slightly darker version of the yellow ochre which I've got from adding more black and I'm making the lines disappear into the distance and slowly curve around. Now I'm going to block out and mark out where my hay bales are going to be. I have put a link in the description for a free traceable for this if you'd like to use it.
I'm using a stippler brush to get the effect of the cut hay. I'm also using a small round brush to add a few details and highlights. We can build up a little bit more detail on the hay bales now by adding a little more colour and also some highlights on the top. These are the paints and colours that I've used today. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button for me. And if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting, try watching one of these videos next. See you next time.